All right, man, it is 2 a.m. for me right now. I stayed up late to play season six. It was already pre-downloaded, so that's the reason why. Usually by the time it's done downloading and copying on PS4, it's like 4 a.m., so let's go and check it out. Oh no, we got a server queue. All right, there we go. The server queue is over. That is a great thing. Sometimes those server queues last forever. Hopefully this cutscene is gonna be dope. Usually there's a new cutscene every season, so. Yeah, this is the same exact cutscene as the trailer for season six that we've seen. Oh, I thought she had an Anthony Davis unibrow there for a second. <laughs> Yo, they would have done her so dirty if they would have done that. Okay, my rank is reset. Season six. We got some variant that I really just don't care about. If somebody was sensitive to light like that, they would have had... Oh my, is that a screwdriver? You just got a screwdriver. Well, I was saying, if somebody is sensitive to light, they would have most definitely had an aneurysm right there. Okay, maybe not an aneurysm, maybe a seizure. We did end up getting a finishing move, and it's the same thing, I'm assuming, as like, you know, the crow and the hawk. It's just gonna be a bat. Yeah, it's a bat theme, just a Halloween themed uh, execution. What we really caught my eye right here was this Innocence Lost uh, screwdriver melee weapon. This thing actually looks really dope. It's kind of like the box cutter, and I, I like what they're doing with the melee weapons. They're not just adding regular knives. They have a screwdriver this season. I think the PS, uh, you know, plus exclusive was the box cutter. Hopefully they'll keep adding cool stuff like this in bundles as well you know for a second there i thought this weapon was a nerf gun <laughs> but there is a few things that we do need to check out here quickly we need to see if there is a butterfly knife so let's go to the melee weapons <sighs> unfortunately there is no butterfly knife we're gonna have to wait till later in the season to actually get that the past two seasons uh season four and five we got the cali sticks and we are kali sticks my bad and the uh dual swords at the beginning of the season even though they said that they were in season loot and they weren't going to come until later on so i was really hoping that we'd get the butterfly knife because as you guys know, when you get a new melee weapon in this game, that means it's going to be stat changing. Otherwise, they would just put it under the category of the combat knife or if there's any other variants for these other two melee weapons. So the butterfly knife is going to be stat changing and I'm assuming it's going to be dropping for the Halloween event. Let's see what this execution is looking like. That was a little cutscene. What are these other skins? Those skins are kind of cool. Um, let's see. It's straight. Oh, it's all. Oh my God, that's actually pretty gruesome. <laughs> stabs the crap out of him in his like ear oh my god yeah i'm definitely gonna be rocking this execution a lot okay so you can unlock nikolai as a tier 100 reward we'll check out that in the next video or two i'm not entirely sure when i'll actually check it out i am gonna buy all the tiers but uh there, there is no more melee weapons in the battle pass there is no more executions usually those are like between you know the first to 20th tier so i guess today we're just gonna be rocking the innocence lost a screwdriver melee weapon because the butterfly knife isn't in the game yet i was hoping it would actually be in the game but i didn't really have my hopes too high for it so yeah, I guess we'll just use a screwdriver and also check out Farah's execution today. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to drop a like down below as well as subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so this quarry, I mean, there's one buy station here. I mean, it could, it could work. There's one buy station, there's a buy station down here too. Let's just try our luck here, Quarry, man. I'll probably get absolutely destroyed at the start, like I have been the past, like, four, five, maybe even seven games at this point. Probably gonna get halfway to my loadout, maybe a little bit more, and then I'm just gonna get absolutely destroyed. If we need to run away from this area, we can. I just wanna see if we can get as much cash as we possibly can. It'd be nice to get some plates, as I was saying, as we get some plates, which is a great thing. Dude, you're already tier 100, huh, buddy? Kind of stupid for me to loot that, but it's whatever. You know, if there's nobody... Okay, I was about to say, if there's nobody in this building, could get enough... That's not what I want to do. Well, at least we're going to get this crate down here that I wasn't going to get before. Ooh, a throwing knife. I was trying to mantle onto the roof so I could get that chest up there, but sucks our normal buy station isn't there. Uh, I think all of this is ran through at this point. All right, let's get this load out here. Stay a little far away from it because I feel like it's going to fall down and hit me. Okay, we're good. There we go. We got our screwdriver. Can I move? Or is the... Yeah, the loadout was blocking me right there. All right, let's inspect the screwdriver. 
looks like a rusty dusty old screwdriver that's been in your building for 10 years or your garage whatever you keep your you know tools in so that's the point of it right so everybody that i kill is gonna need a tetanus shot all right there's some dude some dude in there i think i'm just gonna go ahead and make my way there pretty sure he killed the dude that was after me that first time okay not good okay got him what is that? <laughs> Homie's like, what is that? We had to throw a knife that guy. I couldn't stun him and get an execution off. There was just no way that was happening in that situation. Dude had a trophy. There we go. There's an execution. This is the Pharah execution. Actually looks pretty good. I wish you could use it on Universal, like for any character, you know? But you can't, because it's only for Pharah. Every time I hear that name Pharah, I think of that teen mom girl from like fucking eight to 10 years ago. Okay, you threw a trip mine. Oh, I, I really don't know how I won that fight right there. Our stun just absolutely failed. The guy just pushed the crap out of us. I'm surprised he did that in the first place. Now, I don't know if I said this beforehand. I played so many games tonight. I can't remember what I said in this actual game, but apparently you can find self reses as ground loot. I just bought one myself because I just wanted to buy myself a self res and there's a guy pretty damn close. Let me get a munitions in case we're going to need it here. Actually, let's just go ahead and put it down and use it so we can take this guy out. Um, but you can get self reses as a ground loot now, which I think is pretty damn dope. Imagine you could get a loadout as, as like, you know, chest loot. My bad, not ground loot, but chest loot. And it'd be really cool for us in the way that we play the game and our play style. Well, I guess for all you guys that do knife. He's underneath me. I couldn't really execute that guy either. Uh, oh, we could use that gas mask, that's for sure. Uh, let me call this UAV in, see if there's anybody else here. Uh, there's a dude out here, warehouse. Oh, there's a guy actually pretty freaking close. Let's see where he goes. Hopefully we can get our stun back by the time we encounter this dude. Where did this guy go? Oh, he's over here. Where did the guy go? I'm so confused. I heard him. Yeah, I don't know where that guy went. I don't want to get caught out here looking for this guy forever and then just end up dying to like the storm or something or getting in a bad position because storm's up my ass. I'm just going to run towards the circle. That means military base. I don't know how far we're actually going to get in this game because I don't. this circle is not looking the best for us. Oh, there's a guy in the vehicle there. He's getting shot at from the hill. Did he die? No, he didn't. Yo, I hit that shit! What? A 90 meter throwing knife? Oh yeah. Easy executions. Appreciate it, homie. You were definitely distracted. Thanks for not picking up the cash as well, dog. Oh, I'm getting shot at from the right. Snipe that, yep. That's, I'm assuming the guy that I'd seen beforehand. Not even worth that fight right now. I say we just get in the circle. Don't even hit a buy station or anything. Let's get straight into the circle here. I think I'm just going to go straight to the circle here. Our bounty target's to the right over there. I just want to get straight into the circle. I don't want to hit any buy stations, stupidly. Um, That one's really in the open to my left. I guess we'll just wait for this bounty to be over with, and we'll snag us up a bounty in here. There we go. All right, it's not a dude behind us. I knew that going to that buy station was a bad idea. That's why I didn't do it. Let's just get into the shoot house. We'll go hit the buy station. We'll clear it out. Make sure nobody's camping here. Is that somebody up there in the tower? No, it's not. I'm just kind of tripping. I actually seen in the patch notes that they, they nerfed C4s, and I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out for us, you know, because right now going against people that have c4s is the best thing for us because everybody that isn't using c4 is using like molotovs or using other stuff like that and a molotov or a thermite is a one-hit kill on a riot shield there's a guy pushing him right now he's probably gonna get killed i'm a third party this other guy when he goes in yep 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 he died Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. UAV is out of fuel. Burning to the 
Three executions, baby. Please, nobody snipe me. There we go. God, this, this execution is so gruesome. As is most executions that they add into this game. They're all pretty gruesome. I say we vibe out, chill in here for the time being. No reason to really push out and go anywhere. Um, I'm sure fire is going to be in this next circle, so it might be good for us to go ahead and push into there. But, oh, someone's here. He's in this Maybe building. Oh, we got to wait another three minutes to see that. I'm tripping. We call this UAV in. Oh, he got killed as soon as I called it in. Can we see fire in this UAV? We can, but there could be somebody ghosted there. All right, I think I'm just going to wait and shoot house right now. There, I just don't feel comfortable pushing anything. I feel like it'd be stupid for me to push something right now. Let's just chill in here. Relax. I promise I'm not by station camping. I'm just chilling in the best area that I could chill in, which is shoot house. Our bounty target's all the way over there, and there's no way I'm pushing that. I think there is one thing I do want to do, which is go over here and get a bounty. Hopefully this doesn't give us consolation loot. Okay, it didn't. Alright, somebody's super far away. Let's go back into shoot house and see where the circle goes. I hate playing like this, but if you want to win in Warzone, especially trying to knife, like you, you kind of have to play like this. Not like I'll wake up every day and like, oh my god, I can't wait to sit in a certain area and just wait to see where the next circle's gonna go in Warzone. I don't. I, I want to be able to push as much as I can, but with the way the buildings are set up in this game, you, you can't do that. Especially if you don't have a vehicle or anything. I mean, technically, we're still good. <laughs> I mean, we it could land on us again as well. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to get a dub. And I want to get a fairer execution for the win, if we can. Oh, well, that's not even in the circle. We need to get to a bunker. There we go. The execution. Yeah, the guy's in Bertha at the other bunker over there. Is that a bunker? Or I think that's a warehouse or something. I think I've had this in circle here before. I don't think I was knifing though. I think I was on my other account with like uh, the origin setup or something. I guess the best place to be would probably be this warehouse here because I don't think we're going to be in the next circle. Yeah, we're going to have to push this over here. Might as well go ahead and get going. We might get shot in the back or something, but try my best to get inside of here. Finish your mission. Going up top. He has trophies everywhere. Got him. Oh, that was clutch. Yep, he's on there. He's head glitching. He's gonna have to push this way. Gas is inbound. Let's go! Oh no, that's not the last guy. I thought that was the last guy. This is gonna really depend on where this circle goes next. Gas is closing in. Oh, we got blessed. Zone. No way, dude. Back in the fight. Yes. No way, dude. How do you kill me? No way, dude. No way, man. How did he shoot me through my shield? I'm not, I'm, I was crouched there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I was crouched there. How did, I just don't get how that first stun didn't hit either. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I kind of choked because apparently the stun didn't hit the guy when it, it should have hit the guy, but whatever. Fourth quarter shot, you know I get a ball and money in my pocket. No, I'm no stranger to ball and no, I feel a gamble, but I promise that I'm all.